Is that all right? That's staying in. Yeah. Wait. It's a bit of a disaster. This hairline crack. back from the sawmill and yes we yet again have the unenviable task of somehow getting this mahusa beam up to the first floor and then up to the second floor uh, beyond that as well a uh, bit of deja vu Upstairs. Go. So those trusses look vaguely familiar. We'll be getting reacquainted with trying to hoist a massive beam up onto them shortly. A bigger one. An even bigger one than the one before. Happy days. How are you feeling about it, Kurt? Um, looking forward to working with it when it's up there. <laughs> Not so looking forward to getting it out again. know what you're thinking um why have we left Noah in charge of of drawing out the the template <laughs> in fact that was actually Kurt
got it still. We're not going to get past that tent now, so don't worry about that. Cool. Can I leave you to it? Yeah. Or I'll come down afterwards to help you pick it up? Yeah. Well, how long do you think it's going to take you to mold that out? Well, you could do it as well, mate. That's nicely in the middle of the beam as well, isn't it? Yeah. I think we've only got one, one pencil. Ah, uh, away one of What? This is right. Oh no, what? This wants to go. Is it going to go deeper? Yeah. But that's alright, you can always move the hole, if you measure it, and then move the hole down a little bit and make the bolt hole a bit wider. I'll just tap it in, mate. I think uh, you might not be able to get it out again. Yeah, we can. No, yeah, I think just make the hole out a little, little bit bigger anyway. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah. So just know where the hole is and go one, like two mils over. Although, basically, the thickness of the pencil yeah. is. Do you know what I mean? Yep. Yeah. Wiggle one. Yeah, you can see it's in, so we're just measuring up the, the holes for the tenons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I will be down shortly. Yeah. <laughs> how's, he, how's he getting on? I can't see you. How are you getting on? Ooh, thank you. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. How are you doing? How's Noah doing? Good. He just had a feed and a, like micro sleep, but then he woke up again. Oh. Yes. What do you think of the bean? Yeah, really good. Looks quite nice actually, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, like, mate, you can age this up. And apparently Kirk can age it up. Ooh. He's saying we, but we really know what he means is he. Yes. Um, you, 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 you. Exclusively. Mostly. Yeah. Only. You, mate. I'm liking his little outfit. Which, who's that one? Which one's that from? This one? Yeah. This is from uh, Ross. Aww. Super cute. <laughs> so how it. did you get this in? So quickly. Sorry? What well, in what do you mean how do we get it in? In place there. Just with ropes and stuff and you obviously cutting out. Lowered yeah. it up or uh, sorry, hiked it up or lowered it down? <laughs> yeah, load it down into it. Ah, yeah, yeah, we've been working from up here, lowering our height yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. So yeah. Did you have to cut it a lot? Uh well, we've been notching out, so we've had to probably take it up two or three times just to get it. A lot work. less than the other one. A lot less than last time. Yeah. This is a lot quicker. Well, it's just because it's square, mate. It's Amazing. Yeah. yeah. That's what it is, isn't it? Yep. It's yeah, we're working with a straight. We're working with a straight beam this time, so it's. It's going to be a really good width, isn't it? Yeah, it's coming in again. Obviously, this whole width. It's coming yeah. in. It'd be up about, about there, actually. Yeah. I've got a lot of cheese back, haven't I? Yep. Okay. You got it? Yeah. Cool. If only we had a mark we talk. Only we had a what? A mouse talk. Yeah. 
Oh, well, now or old Betty Bosch died, mate. <laughs> right, where do I see? You put it over there? Uh, yeah, I put it because I thought you'd be grabbing over there and come up the ladder. Because everything was by there. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. That's cool, that's cool. Chisels and things like that. Really you work there. really hard. Right. Uh, you got to go back in. Uh, it's your turn. Oh. Is that anything? Was it? No, no, no. That ain't doing anything. Catching somewhere else. Anyway. Catching this again. I'm going to lift this oh. one up. We've got an acro here. What? It lowered, yeah? Ah, well, I can lift this up because I've got an acro. Yeah, lift him up a little bit. He does need to lift up because there's too much. That's the one I drilled out, isn't it? Yep. Oh, can you hold on to the acro at the top there? Because I haven't drilled it in. And this is the upward position. So hopefully they're all clear now so we can keep tap, tap, tapping away into place. He's going, and now he's not really going. That could also be because of the, uh, there might be some stuff stopping it from going. That's not he's not, he doesn't want to go. No, no, it's that one. Yeah, he's refusing to go. thinking about it. Not sure about that one either. He's pretty much any he's got like two mils to go, so this one? Yeah. <laughs> Okay. 
true to fifteen. So we start making a noise like that. You've got three there, mate. Actually, we do three to drill this with this one. What, because it goes at different different widths? Yeah. Well, it's 18 and a bit. It's at the top. So, uh, let's go down so far for 20, start off with a wideness. Yeah. Then go down so, 18, 16, and go from way down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With the thinnest one at the bottom, yeah? Yeah. But you've got to start with the wide, because otherwise you just go from the Yeah. Maybe I'll help follow the Yeah. Wimping. The beam is. <laughs> yeah, it's coming out. <laughs> <laughs>